You're gonna be all right, little buddy. <laughs> all right, morning. Kurumba by the ocean. We're gonna walk to get breakfast. We stayed there, the Savannah, Savannah Shores is where we all stayed in the cool house. Sunset Tavern is where we had dinner, watched the sunset over the ocean. It was a delight. But now we're gonna get some breakfast and we have, I think just over 500 Ks of road riding today. So that's gonna be pretty AIDS, but gotta do it. 26? Mm -hmm. 26. Mm -hmm. Living off the land. Bacon, eggs, latte. Beautiful beach town. Look at that weather. Every day, no clouds. Which is good because my rain gear got eaten by dingoes. So let's keep the no clouds going. Just another day, just another half Skavana maintenance. No need to do this in the dubs. It's all good. Maintenance is key. Maintenance is key. Lubed up my chain. WR is good to go. to roll right on the beach. It's a good spot to park a van actually. Van spot. Doesn't get much nicer than this. This is one of the few places on the east coast where the sun sets over the water. And that's why this is the Sunset Tavern. Sit there and enjoy the sunset over the water. Beautiful. Normally the sunsets uh, in the west, so yeah, I get to see it from our normal beaches. That is a big petrol truck. Reckon that would uh, get you across the simo? I don't know how many liters that is. Probably a freaking gajillion. How much fuel in one of these? Mate, I'll bring up about 106,000 on the three of them. Holy moly. So there's, there's 38,000 15 days of this one drop. <laughs> That's a lot. Fueled up, Normanton. Now we start heading over across Queensland to the east coast. We're going to get about halfway to Townsville. First stop, Georgetown, 250 k's. So 250 k's of road. Earplugs in, so I don't know if I'm yelling, I can't hear anything. Officially as north as we'll get. The Great Northern Adventure has now turned into the Great Southern Adventure. No choo choos, no choo choos, no. Wake up, cows. You've had your morning sleep. Wake up. Nerves taking us to see a chimney. Oh, look at all the termite mounds. Cumberland Chimney. Uh, dead. I've died. 300k stint. Stopping to look at some birds. He's on the binoculars. What a nerd. God, road days suck, man. Just blasting down the road for three hours non stop. So boring. Can you shoot him? Any cool ones? Yeah, the ones that just flew off. Oh. They're on the highway, so. Mm, they're kind of cool. Yeah. There we wow. go. Wow! Works. <laughs> Some birds. Birds with nerve. Very boring. It's riding through the anthills. Look at them all. Like lost dystopian cities with ants and termites far as the eye can see termite hills thousands and thousands of cities of ants for what purpose just gonna die anyway uh, that's life isn't it thousands of oh god look at them all over there looks like a graveyard there's just thousands of them that's a lot of ants man 
don't hit them. Take out a whole ant city. Imagine that, they'd be telling stories to their children of the day the big blue WR destroyed their city. All right, 20 k's to town, then food. The humble town of Georgetown. Never been here before, my whole life. Nothing about it. Ampole. Ooh, and a little cafe over there. Coffee. My guess is that's where we're getting food. Friendly grocer. Ampole cards not accepted. Rip. No free fuel for you, Mark. Not an Ampole franchise. Suck it. Yeah, it's a really old one. Oh my god, 300 k's. Hello, Galaz. 300 k stint. The new new ran out of fuel 10 k's back. And I'm the only one with fuel on my bike, so I gotta go back and get him. That's an out of fuel Uncle Jeff. No gas, Jeff. Humble 701 finally ran out of gas. Yeah, as a headwind. Even my fuel light came on way earlier than normal. Yep, inside. This is fuel from Javois. Yeah, pretty pretty neat. All right, for you. Bridges are one lane, but this is Stefan CK. So I'm guessing the road trains have to call out, you know, crossing Stefan CK, you know, northbound, or eastbound, westbound, whatever. Because if you're a road train and you came down here and there was another road train in front coming down, oh hey bud, <laughs> down the side of the road, it, neither of you are probably going to be able to stop. Right, this is where we were originally meant to be camping tonight. Mount Surprise! Uh, but I think we're just going to get fuel here and continue on. It's still quite early. It's only 3.30. So we're just going to get fuel here. Mount Surprise. Doesn't seem to be much here. The towns are getting like bigger and bigger though. As we start getting to the coast, away from the centre of Australia and further out to the coast, Jewel of a Town is what they call it. Not much here, but there's fuel, so let's fill up. Mount Surprise, hearing a lot of birds. Let's have a look, eh? Check them out. This, oh. Donation, all right, paid our donation. Beautiful rainbow lorikeets. Oh, hey, budgies. So they're like the budgies that we saw in the Northern Territory. But in a cage where you most likely see them. Anything else over here? It says those mini horses. I think the mini horses were a lie. Zebra finches. What Nunu wanted to see. I have time to come in here. That was pretty cool. Mount Surprise petrol station had like a little, a little aviary that you could look at. But um, fueled up. Now we've got. 400 and I think 40 k's in all the next fuel. So a couple of the guys have filled up bladders. Um, I should be all right. I've got the rotor packs on the back, which gives me an extra like four ish liters. So that's how they get their fuel. They have these like almost look like shipping containers, but they're fuel containers. I guess it's cheaper to do that than to bury, bury tanks. Yeah, I've got an extra four liters, so it should be all right. What could go wrong? 18 in the tank, four on the back. That should give me 400 and something. 300 k to cans, we're so close to cans. Uh, we are going to a volcano now. Looking at a crater of an old volcano. And then um, we just ride down the road. Jewel of a town. That was Mount Surprise. Camp on the side of the road when it gets dark. Tomorrow, 
dirt and tracks to Townsville. We are, shit, these clouds are looking a bit ominous, man. Dingoes took my uh, waterproof liner for my jacket, so I'm a bit worried about dark clouds. I need to get a raincoat. We're going to Townsville, so I'll see if they got like a Kathmandu or something. Get a Gore-Tex raincoat or something. Because I'm not going to get my liner back from the Dingoes anytime soon. Kalani Crater. It's a volcano that erupted and volcanic rock around. Um, the lava drove into the ground, created these lava tubes that you can actually walk in. Uh, you got to book it though, and it was booked out. So instead, we're just going to go to the crater, which looks to be over there. Very old volcano. Obviously, we don't have any uh, active volcanoes in Australia anymore. They're all old and dead. We don't we don't live on any fault lines. We don't get really any earthquakes or anything in Australia. So not a lot of seismic activity in Australia. Um, but we still have some old, old, old volcanoes that we can look at the old remnants of the craters. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, hey, bud. A skippy. Maybe he's a skippy who wants snacks from the visitors. We're gonna go to the top. Is there any? Oh. What are all the? So, oh, can the we trees. do this around? Okay. okay if you want, in it's the past seven points. to eight million years, multiple volcanoes in this crater erupted again and again. Blah blah blah. blah. Cool. Oh, Last eruption was twenty thousand years ago. That's actually pretty soon. All right, let's go have a look at it. Yep. Let's go, Nibsan. Okay. See some kangas. Dying. Dying. Yeah. Uh. Fine, and Sam is fine. Oh, good. Oh, wow, look, there's all trees in it. It's, doesn't look as good. Epic, and that's just a bunch of trees. Wallaby. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's heaps of them. Oh, my God, they're everywhere. They're all hopping around. That's the inside of the crater. More interesting than walking the entire length of the crater, which Nerv is doing. Jesus Christ, not even halfway. I made that Did you say a couple of beers? Oh, ah. this, that's the guys that took a picture. We walk. Oh, it must have been. This is huh. so, so nice. Oh, the on. guy stopped us and said that you want me to take a picture and yeah. we made him laugh. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And now you give I us two beers. Couple mine. of beers. <laughs> <laughs> They're only midis, dude, but the, the, that's pretty good. Dude, this is right. frozen, man. Ice cold. Oh, shit, man. Mark's frothing. Like, the joke that's pretty cool, wow. actually. I think the guys who didn't do the walk deserve these. I think not holding up the group. I think we're. There's <laughs> <laughs> all these piles of rocks, but like, I'm wondering who stacked the rocks up like that. Surely, that's not natural. All the rocks are neatly piled up like there. in a camp, I believe. Yeah. Campsite off the track. I'm gonna be there. Nerve's gonna be over there. And if anyone's got a big enough stick, we can have hamburgers tonight. Look how scared the cows are. I'm joking. We're not going to eat you, but also don't stamp over my tent, please. Jesus, they will probably come over. They get inquisitive. All setting up. Got a bit of an audience. The cows. The cows are getting closer. They are slowly getting more and more comfortable with us. Should probably uh, film actually making the fire. Tom making the fire. That was kind of difficult. But we've got some little leavies. And, and we've got a freaking shit ton <laughs> of wood. And that was all within like 20 meters of here. 
Yeah. We're gonna have an actual blaze tonight. And we're gonna make damper. Really? Aussie Bushman treat. All right, Helinox, chair zero. This is your last night. The legs fall out. The plastic is broken. She's survived a long, hard life, this chair. But this is its last night. Tomorrow I'm getting a new camp chair. So enjoy your final night, Helinox Chair Zero. You did serve me well. Mark is making a stamp off. Yep. Self-raising flour. I've got a kilo pack. I'm going to go with half a kilo. Okay. Because if it doesn't work, I've got another half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a second shot. Anything else in it? Uh, a bit of salt and half a beer. Salt and half a beer and flour. We're making damper. The Bush Rangers meal, staple meal of Aussie Bush Rangers. Birkin Wheels. Birkin Wheels. We're like explorers. Stockmen. The 1800s. Very precise, huh? Yep, all about precision. Okay. It's gonna be great. Wow. Victoria Bitter. The very best. One VB. Oh, VB, I thought it was VB. VB. <laughs> Half a VB. Uh, I was, I had it described to me the other day as cheese and passion fruit. That's what this beer tastes like. Cheese, cheese and passion <laughs> fruit. I don't believe it. I would not say that about yeah, Veebs. Damper in the fire. Oh, nice. Good job, now we wait and see if it raises. Burn a bit to start That's my Uncle Ben's on the fire. Damper, Uncle Ben's. Can't beat it. Okay, this is my first time with Uncle Ben's. Everyone's been saying how great Uncle Ben's is all trip. Oh my God. I've done the risotto. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about way too much. Yeah. Pretty cooked to perfection. Let's help. test it out. That is actually very nice. Yes. <laughs> it is fantastic. tomato -y. It's almost like a little pizza. Pizza rice. <laughs> pizza that is delicious. <laughs> I approve of Uncle Ben's. Our sponsorship can continue. Yay. Un sponsored by Uncle Ben's. Alright, we're testing our damper. See if it's done. It's got a bit It'll, of charring. That's what you want? But I'm going to start with just is a it stick gooey? in there and see if it's... No, it's not really sticking to it. I mean, it's, and it's not, which is good. So means it's cool. done. Let's try the break open. Ooh, it's Ooh, fluffy. It's fluffy. Still, still a bit raw, but... Put it back no. together. Okay. Back together, back together. Bit of duct tape. <laughs> better, better, better time. That's what I, I remember eating it that gooey, time. man. I, I well, like you it. You can eat it gooey, but it's not supposed to be gooey. All right. We'll come back when it's not gooey. Stay tuned. <laughs> open her up, Mark. Spread her. Right. So we've got the condiments. Treats. Oh, yeah, now it's cooked. Look at that. Oh, it looks like a scone now. Like some bread. I do. Come, in. come and come and grab yourself some. Have a bite, Silas. A little bit. And what Thank would you. you like with it? Uh, honey. I want some mm, jam. Honey. honey. Molto bene. Yeah, it really tastes like bread. Give me a honey. Like a little raspberry. It's going to be two, so I don't need it all. Eat half of your honey. Oh, half of a. Can I have a? Can I have a one? Here you go. Arigato. Oh, it's warm. All right, I got my damper, my raspberry. I'm gonna get my Leatherman. You did get a piece, did you? It's gonna be beautiful. No, is that it? Can't wait. Yeah. On my damper, I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> oh, tastes like a scone. That is beautiful. Bloody beautiful. 